everyone. Welcome to Ramsey Lodge for another week. Um, yeah, Christmas time. Ho, 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 I suppose. I um, hope everyone has a safe and healthy Christmas and uh, gets plenty of presents for uh, everyone who's been naughty or nice. Um, yeah, I uh, had a pretty quiet week last week, as, uh, as you know, um, but Georgie got round in one piece and uh, I thought she rode the horse really, really well. And uh, we'll probably show a little bit of vision that a little bit later on. But um, well done to George and um, horse ran fourth, first start, first time going around, so that was great. Yeah, runners this week, uh, might kick off Thursday, I'll just see how he is in the morning, but um, we've run, we've done a fair bit of racing with Old Severn Road in the last month or so, and uh, I've got him in uh, a winnable sort of race on Thursday at sale, but he'd really want to be bucking his brands off to take him, he's, um, he's done a lot of racing, I've backed him up three weeks in a row, so four weeks in a row might be asking a bit much, but we'll see how he is on Thursday morning. Boxing Day, we... Um, uh, kick off at Geelong. Um, I was going to have four or five runners and a couple got balloted and one horse just uh, wretched and fed like, fed like a couple of weeks ago so he won't be going but I'll only end up with the two runners. Um, one will be GG Girl. Um, she's been going really well. She won two in a row then was second in town. Um, not a lot of fillies and mares races around in town for her so she'll go to Geelong in a 1500 metre race. Looks ideal. Um, should bounce and get the gun run from there and um, she'll obviously be right around about the money. I step out a first starter called Stenson, a beautiful high shaft colt. He's um, uh, in a 1200 metre race. Obviously, this is going to be too short for him, but he's um, he's certainly a well above average sort of horse, and wouldn't be at all surprised if he doesn't um, salute on uh, on Boxing Day. He um, really all depends on how strong the race is. Just be a little bit mindful. He is a probably a mile and a quarter horse in a 1200 metre race, but uh, these um, these high quality horses can sort of get up and win first up. But uh, he's in very very good condition. He's trialled up very well a couple of times, and uh, can't do much more on the training track, so he can head off to the races. On uh, Sunday, we'll then head down to uh, Warnable and uh, I've just changed a few things around with a mare called Kawabata. She's um, a couple of runs this time in, I've been really disappointed um, and just changed her work around, done a little bit different and I thought she worked great this morning so she might have a real uh, form turnaround. Don't expect her to, to run a, a big race at big odds on Sunday and uh, also a horse called SOR. He, uh, he was going to go around at uh, uh, Colac the other day and just got, um, the races got called off so he had to wait another week. Uh, Georgie gets her chance on him again and uh, it'll be a great ride for her. He's drawn her just a nice gate to sort of jump and land outside the leader. His work was very sharp through the week and I was actually going to go up to a mile with him but his work was probably a little bit too good for a miler so he can stay at the 1400 and expect him to go really well. Um, also, uh, I might run a filly called Pixis at uh, Yarra Glen. Um, it just all really depends on how she works and she's got balloted from Geelong so uh, whether she gets a run there I'm not sure but um, uh, she's sort of ran about the mark in that sort of grade. She's been running thirds and fourths and uh, just needs a bit of luck to win a race. Yeah, with Georgie starting off her uh, riding career, we've had a lot of interest and a lot of people in the stable always ask how she's going. So we'll do a regular little segment with George and she can uh, tell you what she's uh, riding for the week and um, hopefully everyone can follow up. Here's George. I had my first race ride on Sunday on Canali at Bendigo. The horse ran really well, so hopefully I'll get another ride in him again. Um, it was a good experience and I'm happy to get the first one over and done with and I'm eager to get more rides. Uh, I'm riding at Penshurst on Saturday. I've got three rides there, a couple for some Ge local Geelong trainers and three at Warnable on Sunday, one of them being SOR. Um, he's for our stable and I've ridden him all his track work, ridden trials on him. He galloped up really good this morning, so I'm expecting him to run really well. And so hopefully I have a good week and get my first win on the racetrack. <laughs> Yeah, this week's horse of the week's a filly called Jealous Rumour. She's a um, homebred uh, filly by, um, by Snippet's son. She's um, uh, just for some local owners here in Geelong, and uh, I think they're going to have a lot of fun with her. She's a um, really interesting horse. She um, uh, had a little, couple of little preps and um, showed us plenty. We put her in the paddock and brought her back, and she just kept going sore. And um, uh, we just couldn't figure out what it was. We had an x-ray and had everything done to her, and we realised she was actually intolerant to oats. So as um, soon as we've taken her off the oats and just had her on a, um, like a micronized maize feed, um, she's immediately just turned around. Within a week, she um, went from being lame and terrible to um, uh, just stepping out beautifully. Now she's had a couple of trials, and she trialled this morning and trialled up great, and uh, she'll probably be at the races in the next week or so. So uh, yeah, really, really interesting filly. Lovely filly, great temperament filly, and um, she'll be at the race in the next couple of weeks. It's a filly called Jealous Rumour. Yeah, Pete can't make it down to the farm this week, so he's given me his tips. He's tipped the, actually, the same horses he tipped last week. As um, race two, horse one, hell of an effort for uh, Moody and Meech. Pete loves that combination. And uh, race four, horse number six, Marley Magic, Robbie Gaylard's horse. Good luck, Rob. She's actually been a great horse to you, that horse. Good on you, mate. Well done for that. Uh, so what does Pete say? Good luck, good punning, and we'll see you next week. 
that's it for another week at Emsley Lodge. Thanks for watching. I uh, yeah, hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas, have a good time, and certainly a safe time. Um, plenty, of, uh, plenty of horses in the stable going to get up and racing straight after Christmas, and uh, uh, I'm sure we'll, um, there'll be plenty of winners. Until next week, see you later. He said, move over, turtle. Move over, well, 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 Wellsy, Wellsy, Wellsy. <laughs> Selsy, not Wellsy, Selsy. I'm going to be, I'm going to be really conscious of it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to Emsley Lodge for another week. Uh, this is our one. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. Um, thanks very much for everyone who supported it and given us great feedback. Um, I forgot what I was going to say.